Hi guys, it's your girl here, Art Diva. Thanks for joining me today or evening whenever you're watching this. This is a coloring book that I got from Amazon. And the seller's name, let's see if I can pronounce it, is Crystal M. Perlu, I believe. But no worries, I will have the name and possible link down in the description box below for you guys. So I do like I always do. I, I color a couple, couple pictures for you so you can see um, what this book looked like. And I would have kept coloring in this book, but I have other stacks of books that I need to get to because I would like to share them with you as well. I've had um, some other books that I would have liked to have shown you guys, but uh, I didn't get to them, so therefore there's a f there's a lot of them that's not even available anymore. It's out of print, so I I doubt if I I'll ever show them to you. But I'll keep checking every now and then just to see if it's back in stock. Um, this was my uh, page that I was going to color, but since I've been having books come in pretty regularly this past month my books are stacking up now so it's like okay I need to limit what I want to color and show otherwise I'll be coloring forever but I do have a book that I'm working on now which is why I put this down so I can start working on it and it is going to going to be my first completed book I've been on here a couple years now and I have not completed a book so you must know I really love this book in fact I've already shown this book to you I flipped through it and I didn't color in it and that book is called uh, I think it's vintage beauties and suits uh, that's gonna be the one that I'm going to share and that's gonna take me quite some time it may take me three weeks to a month to color in that book so because um, you know other things going on in life I can't spend every moment of the day coloring in it but I'm gonna color in it often and, um, yeah, it may take me about a month before I show it to you guys. So, let's just go ahead and flip through this book. So, look for that book. This book has beautiful images in it. Oh, I love this book. I could color in it forever. I love junk food. I like, any not anything, but most things sweet. I like traditional things anyway. Look how beautiful that is. A blueberry muffin. Looks like some cookies and maybe some dates or something. Who knows what that is? <laughs> I don't know. Here are some more cookies and more cookies and little sweetness. I have no idea what that is, but use your imagination. Color whatever color you want to color it. But I do like the the background. It's nice. Uh, this is grayscale glue bound, of course. Um, I think it's got either 40 to 50 images in it, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, nevertheless, the grayscale is not super dark. So, you know, I guess a beginner, I'm a beginner, I'm not a professional, I'm just pretty good at coloring, I guess. I've always liked it. Here are some more cupcakes. Cupcakes. Is that daisies? Yeah, I believe it's daisies. Oh, look at that. You could do so much with that. Look at the milk and the strawberries and that beautiful flower on top. It's another lovely picture. It's lots of cupcakes, huh? <laughs> I just realized that. And ah, one of my favorite besides cakes are donuts. I love Krispy Kreme. Mostly, I've had Dunkin' but Krispy Kreme is my thing. Um, here I use some uh, some uh, clear gloss, and I know I'm gonna get I get asked a lot uh, what I use. Like I decided to make this a chocolate chip donut. Uh, this was actually just a plain donut, but the other two they were already drawn with the sprinkles on, so I just added the glue. And this glue here is Ranger's uh, Glossy Accents Dimensional Glue. And it has a precision tip to it so you don't mess up. And these glues are Rangers as well. They're sticker glitter glues. And some of them are like, uh, what do you call it, like a metallic uh, 
a tone to it so you know I have some solids and I have some glitter ones you can do so many things like here I made it look like a glazed blueberry it was my attempt to make it look like a glazed blueberry kind of and that's a red velvet one of course and always make sure you have some cardstock thick enough in between this which I'm glad I did I'm I what I've been doing now is I do double car stop behind it because you know I don't want the medium to bleed through. Uh, the paper is fairly decent; it's not too thin, not thick. Look at that! Just makes you want to eat the page. Oh, you can have so much fun with that. Here's a summer scene, and uh, I know I get asked a lot about doing step by steps. Um, I really can in my life. I can do it. Because <laughs> when I color, I'm not like alone or in a coloring room or office or anything. I'm usually sitting on the couch. I have a clipboard. And I'm going to try to insert um, the picture that I have in here of a strawberry cake that I hadn't colored yet. But then hopefully I can splice, splice that right on the iMovie. I don't know. But we'll see. But anyway... Um, I was sitting on the couch with my husband. The television is always blaring, watching a movie or something. And so, there's just no way. It's just impossible for me to film. Sorry. There are probably other and hundreds of people on YouTube who can probably show you step by steps. But, you know, I don't. But I don't mind you asking me what colors of mediums I use. See how that came through? Oh, my God. Thank God. I put double car stock behind this and see it didn't even affect this picture at all I just love the realistic look this artist did could be AI I don't know but what is what this AI thing these days but uh, nevertheless this this is the type of uh coloring books I like now so I've given a lot of my other books that didn't look all that awesome before I donated them but um yeah look how lovely that is basket of fruit that's beautiful another one that's another one give you different variations of it oh, you can make such a beautiful green apple with that one huh And here is actually the last picture that I did. I just finished this one right before filming. And um, there's that uh, Rangers uh, uh, Glossy Accents Dimensional Glue. And um, I think before I, I was coloring the picture, you know, it took me a couple days. But before I went to bed, I made sure that up here on the top, this Mod Podge Glossy glue on the top of the pancake but as far as going down the dribble that's the uh ranges uh glossy accent dimensional glue and i colored that back a beautiful blue like a deep uh what's the word i'm looking for i can't even think of that blue by prisma color pencil but anyway um um uh, even though it was is grayscale it still looks lovely in my opinion and of course, see, bled through. Double up. I used to just use one car stock, but no. I I got kind of scared when I've seen this behind a piece before. I said, okay, I'm not going to make a mistake and ruin a great book. So, there's more here. Look at that. It's beautiful. This video is a little bit longer than I normally do because I'm talking. This beautiful strawberry cake with blueberries, but I made another cake. I made a cake. I colored another cake, but look at this. Beautiful. And here's the cake that I made. <laughs> it's just playing. Here's the cake that I colored. <laughs> oh, look at that. Um, there's the Rangers uh, Stickles. Uh, glue for the strawberry um, seeds on there. Awesome. Love that. 
and I do have the one I said I was going to try to insert for you guys. There's another bowl of fruit. Looks like some sort of exotic fruit. What's it? Uh, what's the dragon fruit? That's what that looks like to me. This is another strawberry cake. Another beautiful cake. Oh, I love this book. I think at some point in the new year coming, uh, hopefully I'll have this completed. And I can share it with you guys. But I'm looking forward to giving you guys my first completed book. Because I have so many and I'll just be trying to crank them out to where I don't actually sit and take the time. But this one, I'm going to do it. Oh, actually, here's the cake right here that I colored. That's what I just showed you. But I'm still going to insert that one in. Okay, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, when you watch my videos and you like them, please give it a thumbs up. That would help me out a lot. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to getting more people. And hello to all my newbies and my day ones. Love you guys for always commenting. And thanks for watching. Bye.